This is UV visible double beam spectrophotometer, uh, two cell holder. Its its wavelength range is uh, from 190 to 1100 nanometer, and its bandwidth is two nanometer. So first we start the instrument. After starting, it will take some some time to start. It will check all internal parts or positioning. Then uh, it require warm up fifteen minutes so that uh, lamp our lamp glows properly because it has two lamps. Uh, one is tungsten lamp and another is deuterium lamp, D two lamp. So it takes 15 minutes to warm up. We can escape, press escape to skip. We can escape from this key. So, this is the main menu of the instrument. The first one is basic mode. Uh, press one to enter the basic mode. Uh, this mode is to check the absorbance and transmittance of any sample. So, before checking the sample, we select the wavelength from this key. Set lambda. Press set lambda and the, we, we can enter uh, the wavelength suppose our wavelength is 350 then press enter there are two types of cuvettes glass cuvette and quartz cuvette on 350 we can use glass cubit but if uh, the wavelength be, uh, below 340 then we must use quartz cubit so put take a reference reference sample uh, in two cubits and put here then close the sample compartment and set zero from this key Press zero. Now take out the first reference sample and put sample solution. Suppose this is our sample. You can put here and you will get the result. You can see the result. Suppose uh, I have one more sample. This is potassium dichromate sample. I can put here. This is the absorbance value of this sample. We can change the mode also from F2. We can check the transmittance also. Percent T in center. This is the transmittance value of this sample. So this is the basic mode, we can escape from this mode by pressing this key. Now the second one is quantitative mode. So press 2 to enter the quantitative mode. This mode is uh, to check the unknown sample. So in this mode we create a curve by uh, standard solutions so press F2 for standard curve
First you select the wavelength by this key 350 so in the same way we put the reference solution first then press 0 Suppose I have three uh, standard samples whose concentration is three, four, five simultaneously. Then I put my first sample whose concentration is three. Then press start. This is the absorbance value of that sample. Now put second whose concentration is 4 then press start now put the third sample whose concentration is 5 press start So this is the curve, you can check from F4, now we can check the concentration of unknown sample in the same way we put the reference solution in both the cells then press 0 now suppose this is my unknown sample press start this is the concentration of the sample unknown sample so this is our quantitative mode now when you go to the third mode wavelength scan press 3 in this mode we can create a graph between observance and uh, wavelength first we go to the setup by F1 key so scan from you can select uh, any interval of wavelength suppose I need to check my sample 3, 350 to 500 so I select 500 then 350 Now scan setup, I can choose any of the option, suppose I select 5, scan speed always medium, 
now this is our wavelength interval and we can change this scale also from this key so that our graph shows completely so first put a reference in both the cells then close the compartment and press 0 So this beep means zero process is complete. Now put the sample and press start. This is our graph. So after this mode we come to the 4, this is kinetic scan. So in this mode we can create a graph between time versus absorbance or transmitters. So first of all press F1 to set up, so we can select the time in seconds suppose uh, I think it's 30 seconds delay time that means your uh, test start after 3 seconds you can change also 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 4 seconds I take it 5 seconds time interval you can change also one second now put the reference in both the cells and press zero and zero is complete now press the sample then press start now this is the delay time you can see the graph so this is our kinetic mode and fifth one is DNA protein in this mode we can check uh, DNA protein sample press 5 so then put a reference solution in both the cells press 0 Wavelength is already fixed 260, 280 and 320 Zero process is complete now I put my sample, DNA protein sample and 
press start so this is the ratio is the concentration of dna and protein so i use another sample just for the example that's why the reading is in minus and the last mode is multi wavelength so in this mode this is same as basic mode but in this mode you can select uh, Two, three, five wavelengths, different wavelengths to test. Because in basic mode, you can check only uh, one one wavelength. In this mode, you can select multi wavelength. So this already is uh, multi wavelength selected. Five forty six, four fifty. So the process will be same. Two transfer solutions in both the cells. Then press zero. Now you can put the sample and press start. You will get the absorbance value in these wavelengths. I use glass cuvettes that's why on 250 uh, this is showing negative value because we must use quartz cuvette on this wavelength below 340 nanometer so, the last is uh, utility this is uh, this mode is to uh, for setting of the instruments, different settings, wavelength reset, printer, you can uh, you can switch on or switch off the lamps according to the requirement. If uh, you are not using UV range, then you can switch off the D2 lamp. This is to save the life of the lamp. So this is all about this instrument, thank you.